night we're here until we get it done. So we'll do some of the stuff everybody's comfortable with just to get a little bit of ego and courage. After hearing the five new tracks, I can kind of get a vibe of them, of how they sound live. And by tomorrow, we'll have a set list so we can start doing work on transitions and make it so it's more seamless. Originally, it was going to be like, you know, six or seven people, and then it just like kept growing. And then once we had the horns, I was like, well, why don't we get a string player? And then we got three string players and then another vocalist, and it all just started coming together. It's, it's really amazing to have people that are this skilled and gifted at music. Those guys take learning new tracks, learning six new tracks in a day, and then performing in front of one of the bigger audiences they ever had. You know, two days later, it takes a lot of gall. You know, a sample collage thing that has between eight and 30 samples a song, all of a sudden you see them, not, not as samples, but as instruments, and it takes on a whole new life. What he's been doing in his basement all these years is what he's doing with the big band, except he's been doing it with records and, and, and machines, and now it's actual people. That Michael has found a way to make all those old samples that he made from records six, seven years ago, he's found somebody to play that exactly with the instrument that they played it on. People are gonna be really impressed. Fillmore to me is the place that I grew up going to shows. It's like a, it's like a mountain to conquer. Yo, Minner, Yo, Johnny. ready to kill this shit, man? Hell yeah, man. enough that the friends that I trust and grew up with got in a position to be able to turn everything that was a hobby and a side project to us into like full-time careers. To hear the translation of that into live music in a room like the Fillmore, it's just beautiful. Every show I get nervous. It's nervous like when you're going on a date. It's not nervous like you're, you're going to see the principal. We have so much talent on the stage that I just, I don't want it to come off as anything less than, than beautiful. <laughs> it feels, I'm like giddy. It feels like I won the lottery. I just got chills, you know. I, got, I, I, it felt amazing, especially in the in the the realm that I'm known. People kind of lose sight of what goes into making the music. I hate, I hate to see a lot of these ideas die when people's love for the genre dies. I think this, I think this music deserves more. He is like a Tasmanian devil. He really is. He's like the most creative whirlwind force I've ever known in my life. This is what we do, like this is our everyday. Like, we go do shows and make people dance, so it's not really anxiety or we'll just rock out and clean it up and go try and do it again somewhere else. <laughs>